Um, so last week we kind of did a workout where we grouped um, certain exercises together. So we had like our cardio exercises, our strength exercises, and then we did cardio exercises and we then ended with some core. And so today what we're actually going to do, we're going to do the same exercises as last week, but I'm going to show you how you can now manipulate those. I know Kate's like, oh, great, push-ups. Yes. Perfect. Perfect. So we're going to manipulate those a little bit again, and we're going to do kind of a jumbled up mixture of all those exercises at once and uh, maybe see how you feel if you like that kind of workout that's kind of more of a hit type workout where uh, you do a high intensity exercise and then maybe a strength based exercise and kind of all over the place so that's what we're doing today um, hopefully we can run through it all because we didn't get through it all last week and so I wanted to get through these exercises all in one if possible uh, just like last week, each exercise will be done twice. So if we do, um, you know, push-ups and an overhead press, then again, the next set's going to be the same thing, and then we'll move on to the next exercise. But since you guys are a little bit more familiar with these exercises, um, we'll be able to speed it up through and kind of do a larger variation. So, but before we do that, we of course have to warm up. So go ahead Grab that band, if you've got that towel, if you've got the bar. Okay, we're gonna warm up the shoulders. All right. Big, big raise up to the top. Pull it on back. Bring it back forward. Good, pull back, big stretch. And back forward. And forward, nice. All right, now this is kind of where it gets a little crazy. Right arm's gonna go up and back, and then left arm's gonna come up and forward. Good, right arm back, left arm forward, back, and forward. And now we're gonna switch, left arm goes back, Hello, Helena. Helena's joining us. Nice. Bring it forward. Left arm back. Bring it forward. One more. And forward. Nice. All right, you can set your band off to the side. We're going to be breaking it up a little bit as we do with upper body and lower body kind of warm up and stretches. All right. So if you're going to stay seated, we're going to pull that left arm across the body, getting that big, big reach. Try to pull with one arm, look over the shoulder. You're going to come back down, pull across, look over the other shoulder, and repeat. Okay? So while you're doing that one, all right, if you want to stand, kind of work on a lower body stretch here, we're going to come into a wide stance here. All right, hold on to something if you need it for the balance. We're going to come down. You're going to go to your left foot and then to your right foot. Kind of in an oscillating TikTok formation. Good, going back and forth. Good, all right. Now, if you want to stay seated, okay, you're going to grab that left arm, bring it up and over, get a lean, big pull, grab the right arm, big lean, big pull, left, and right. Good. All right, and then actually for a lower body kind of stretch today, what we're going to do is a really, really deep squat. So you can hold on to something if you need to, but you're going to sit down as low as you can, kind of hang out here way, way deep, and then come back up. All right, if you want to get a nice wide stance, sit down as low as you can, kind of big stretch here, come back up, 
And then one more big deep squat. And come back up. Nice. All right. So for our first exercise, actually, I'm going to point the camera down. Okay, we're going to start with our cardio exercise, followed by a strength exercise, followed by another cardio exercise, followed by kind of an ab exercise. All right. So if I've lost you already, just hang with me. Okay. So first exercise is going to be that bunny hop. Okay, where we're just kind of hopping on those toes, bounce, bounce, bounce. It doesn't have to be anything high, nothing crazy, just kind of getting the cardio up. All right, you can choose to bounce forward and back, side to side, or just stay in place. If you need to hold on to something, you can as well. All right, the seated version of that is just going to be those jump ropes forward. Okay, so in a seated, you're just swinging those arms forward in tight circles as fast as you can, all right? We will go to backward arm circles, all right? But for this one, forward first, okay? Then immediately after that, our strength exercise is going to be the lovely push-up and the lovely overhead press, okay? So if you are seated, you're going to grab some weights, all right? And we're going to press up overhead, bring it back down, up overhead, and so on and so forth. For the push-up, okay, for the push-up here, all right, you can be on your hands and knees, all right, if this is your push-up, you can come down, press with the triceps, all right, you can bring your knees a little bit further back, get a little bit of a slanted torso, come down, push-up, all right, come up to those feet, make it a little bit more challenging, come down, push-up. All right, that's going to be our strength exercise. Then, okay, I think we're going to hang out there. Those are going to be our two exercises at first to kind of warm us up a little bit, and then we'll add on exercises to that. Okay, so bunny hop and push up. Uh, again, the jump rope is going to be the forward one seated, and then. Oh, I just faced it. The overhead press. There we go. Good thing I have it written down right in front of me. All right. So starting off with your pick of jump rope or bunny hop. 30 seconds. Three, two, and go. Good. So we're either doing the bunny hops or the jump ropes with your arms. Ten seconds. And rest. Okay. All right. Now get into your push-up position or your overhead press. Push-up position or overhead press. Okay, we're coming down here, three, two, and go, good, find the pace that works for you, good, halfway there, nice. Good, five, four, three, two, and rest. All right, going back to, going back to either the bunny hops or the jump ropes, okay? If you're doing the jump ropes, you're going backwards now, backward arm circles. If you're doing the bunny hops and you were going back and forth forward, now you're going side to side. Okay, so let me take a seat. Show this from here. All right, backward arm circles. Three, two, and go. Good, you can kind of get some bounce in your seat. Trying to move those arms in tight circles 
as fast as you can. Good. And 10 seconds. Three, two, rest. Okay, now going to either the push up or the overhead press. Okay, I'm switching my camera here a little bit. All right, grab those weights. Three, two, and go. Good. All right, 10 seconds. Three, two, and one. Best. All right, we got through two exercises. Our next exercises are going to now be a combo of kind of some cardio exercises and some abs and some abs okay so for the cardio exercise seated okay i want you to do jabs jabs or uppercuts okay so punching right here okay big big reach big rotation all right or you can come up with your uppercut, kind of punch up, punch up, or you can do a mixture of either one, all right? If you'd like to hold weights, you can. I don't really recommend it because some people's shoulders may not like weight way out here, but if you have a light enough weight, you can do that, all right? Then if you're on the ground, okay, we're gonna be doing Mountain climbers, mountain climbers. So in kind of that push-up position, driving one leg up, you can go slow, you can go fast, up to you, but that's gonna be our cardio exercise there. All right. Then for the abs, if you remember, okay, we did some side leans, some side leans. So hands can be either overhead or just off to the side, okay? Lean, come back, and just doing, oh, sorry. Just doing one side, one side right now, okay? Lean to one side, come back, okay? Then on the ground, we are actually gonna do a side plank, a side plank. You're gonna be on your elbow here, or you can be in a stacked position on your hand. All right, hips are gonna come up. You're gonna bend or side bend down, kind of drop those hips, bring them back up. Okay, bobbing those hips. All right, so here we go. <laughs> so we've got mountain climbers or jabs. All right, and then side planks or side leans. Okay, only one side when doing those side planks. All right, three, two, and go. Good, move those hands, find kind of a, a rhythm that works for you. Or you've got those mountain climbers on the ground. Ooh, I like Helena's version. She's kind of doing knee taps, marches in place. That's another accommodation. Good. Three, two, rest. Done with that one. Moving to the side leans. If you'd like to have weight, you can. Side plank. Only going to one side. All right. Three, two, rest. And go.
Good. All right, five seconds. Good. And rest. Okay. Going back to the jabs and the mountain climbers. Okay. If you were doing kind of a variation of the mountain climbers, see if you can go a little faster this time for 30 seconds. Or if you're doing the jabs, see if you can include some uppercuts. All right. Three, two, and get after it. So I'll kind of do a, a version of both right here. Just kind of moving. Good, and almost there. Get ready, rest, okay? Moving to the other side, okay? So I'm hopping down here. All right, I'll show you the other side of my side plank. All right, lean into the other side if you're seated. All right. And go. Good. All right, halfway there. Keep leaning. Keep dropping those hips. Three. Two, and rest. All right, grab a drink. Okay. Throw me a thumbs up if you're doing okay. Good, okay. <laughs> so, before we continue, even though it's not the summer yet, and it is not sweltering hot, I somehow managed to get a sunburn yesterday. And you can probably tell, yep, on the Zoom call, what is sunburned and what's not. So my, my neck is incredibly burned, and my incredibly pale white skin glows on the Zoom call. <laughs> Literally shines on the Zoom call. So another attractive quality about Luke. So there you go. <laughs> I know people in Colorado are like, I wish the sun would come out today. Holy cow. All right. Moving on, we've got another kind of four exercises together. So we did two and two. Now we're going to do four and four. We're going to try it. Okay. So starting off with our cardio. Okay. We're going to have that one arm up, one arm down. This is the seated version. Okay. We're going to be swinging those arms. Back and forth, seated, all right. If we want to stand, okay, we're going to have one leg up, other leg up, kind of doing those high knees, driving back and forth, all right. That's our first exercise, is swinging the arms and high knees, okay. Number two is going to be a curl to press, okay. And you're actually going to need two weights for this. Two weights. All right. Curl, press. Curl, press. So kind of alternating those arms. All right. Then it's going to be an alternating lunge. If you want to stand, taking that step back, lunge. Taking that step back, lunge. All right. Curl the press and the lunge. That's number two. Number three is going to be, these are my favorites, okay? And there's a reason why these are favorites, because you can't help but smile when you do them, okay? These are called Wahoo. Wahoos, we're going to do them, and you're going to have fun, okay? So, from, let me grab my chair here, okay? We've kind of done a variation of these seated before. All right, so a wahoo, 
All right. You're going to be seated in your chair. You're going to come down as much as you can. So kind of crunch forward and then explosively come up almost like a jump, like you're saying. Wahoo. Very good. I heard you all say it. Very good. So coming in, boom, boom, kind of rocking back and forth, getting that momentum. If that hurts your back or you can't come forward, work on those hands and you're kind of throwing those hands back behind you into a big Y position. Okay. And of course, if you'd like to stand, all right, you're going to get your legs involved. And as your arms go up, your legs go out. All right. And you say, Wahoo. Very good people. You're learning. Okay. You come in and you jump. Wahoo. So it's kind of an explosive jumping jack. Okay. See, you're all going to be smiling. You can't. I mean, Brooke is smiling ear to ear in her picture. So everyone must be always. Doing. I'm always smiling. <laughs> she never stops smiling people. All right. So there's our Wahoos. Number four. Number four is going to be the Superman hold. The Superman hold. So from that seated position, okay. Coming here, getting that lean forward. Yes, Teresa's got it. Boom, she remembered. Boom. That big Superman hold. Oh, we love it. Yes. Good. And then on the ground, again, on your chest, trying to fly off the ground. Okay. All right. So, of course, every one of you remembered all those exercises, and I can just hop right into it, of course. There we go. Teresa's got it. We're starting. Oh, she's going through them. Nice. Nice. Teresa just did all of them. Awesome. Okay. So, first exercise, that monkey arms, okay, and the high knees. So, high knees and monkey arms. Three, two, and go. See? You know, Brooke, I understand that your dog couldn't go outside, but if you did high knees right next to your dog, I'm sure it would almost feel like a walk, you know? I am actually doing some uh, charting. I am learning some charting and soap notes. So beware, I could be watching you all very detailed. So if I was jumping up and down, I don't think I'd be able to write so detailed and well, but... You know, I can show my face if you want evidence that I am sitting and charting. She's exercising those fine, fine motor skills. Oh, you know it. All right. Next exercise is the lunge or the alternating curl and press. Alternating curl and press or the alternating lunge. Ready? Three, two, and go. Good. All right. Ten seconds. Three, two, and finish it. Nice. Okay. Next, we have oh, the wonderful the amazing wahoos okay wahoos people all right three two and go good these are explosive as possible throwing those hands back it's okay no one will think you're weird if you're in your house right now alone screaming wahoo i swear i swear <laughs> good that would just be the thing if my wife walked in and i'm just screaming wahoo at my computer she already thinks i'm nuts all right relax Whew. okay see smiling you gotta smile all right superman hold superman hold if you want to make this challenging you can put small weights in your hand if you're kind of doing either on the ground or seated all right Holding those hands back. Three, two, and go. Okay. Good. 
Nice. I see Teresa with the tiny weights. Yes, good. Nice. Get those thighs off the ground. Pull that chest off the mat. Good. Three. Ah, two. Done. Okay, we get to run through the whole thing again. We're moving today. Moving today, all right? High knees, monkey arms. High knees and monkey arms. All right, so I'm hopping up. Come in here. All right, you guys get to stare at my feet. Three, two, and go. Either monkey arms or high knees. Good, moving those feet, moving those arms. 10 seconds. Three, two, rest, done. Okay, next is going to be those lunges or the curl to press. All right. If you need to grab a drink at any point, you can. Three, two, and one. Welcome, Paul. You just follow along with me, okay? Ooh, Paul's got the coolest backgrounds. He's got a Final Four basketball poster up. Love it. All right. Five seconds. And done. Okay. Now, we have the Wahoos. The Wahoos, okay? So, Paul, these are going to make you smile. Do the best you can. You watch me, Paul. We're going to be kind of explosively jumping, all right, or just throwing our hands back, saying Wahoo every rep okay and go good nice good almost there 10 seconds And uh, rest. Okay, I'm going to grab a drink after that. Holy cow. Okay. Last and final exercise is going to be that Superman hold. Okay. On the ground here. Three. Two and uh, fly away. Good. Doing great. We're more than halfway. Good. Lift those legs off. Don't let those hands touch. Good, and rest. Ooh. All right. Coming back around. You know what I think we need as a Dragon Boat team? We need to see Brooke the intern do one Wahoo. All in favor? Very Dude, good. Kate, I didn't agree to that. <laughs> do I need to yell as I do it? We just need to see you do one Wahoo. Yeah, one. Just one Wahoo? Just a uh, Wahoo! There we go! Bravo! You go. You're welcome, everyone. You're welcome. I'll get autographs <laughs> later. 
Ah, Brooke the intern is here all night, folks. All night and tomorrow and the next day. You know it. Oh. All the time. <laughs> all right. So hopefully you grabbed a drink. I remembered water this time. Very important. Very important. Was was a little desperate last week. Oh, okay. Next exercise is going to be the fast feet. All right. And fast hands. Fast hands. Okay. So fast hands. What these kind of look like. If you need a wall uh, to kind of help you with this, kind of give you a visual of what you're doing. Hands are going to come out front. All right, now put one hand kind of over the other, then come back through. Okay, and we're trying to move those hands as fast as you can. Okay, that works a ton on shoulder stability. All right, you might feel that a little bit in your bicep or your tricep or kind of deep in those rotator cuff muscles, going up and down as fast as you can. Okay, then when we do the second round, we're gonna come out and back as fast as we can. We're trying to tense up those arm muscles. All right. Four fast feet. Okay. If you remember from last week. All right. One foot is in front of the other. And we switch. Switch. Okay. And then just like the hands, we're going to come wide in kind of like a hopscotch. Okay. That's going to be our fast feet. Then, all right. Oh, sorry. We have an intercom system if you heard that. Sorry. Okay. Next is going to be a row. A row. So a bent over row, you can use either kind of a pole like this, or you can use dumbbells. Okay. The important thing with the bent over row, you keep your back as flat as possible, pulling up. Down, rowing, right in here, okay? From the chair, what we're going to do, you're going to lean forward, pull back, like you're kind of actually rowing in a boat, okay? That's going to be our row. Next exercise is not a wahoo, which I know you are very sad. It's a boohoo. Just kidding. All right, next exercise is... We're going to kind of do something that involves a pulse, a pulse. Okay, so a pulse is where you kind of hold the position and you stay in that sticking point. Okay, so let me give you an example with the overhead press. Okay, you're going to be doing overhead press, but instead of going all the way up and all the way down, you're going to stay right in the middle and you're just going to pump right in the middle like Raising the roof, people. All right. Then, coming down here, you're going to squat and stay at the bottom there. Squat, pulse, down, big burn in the legs. All right. To finish us off is going to be the core exercise. All right. It's going to be a reverse crunch. Make sure your low back is pressed into the mat. Picking up our legs, bringing them down, up, and down. All right. Seated version. We're going to do a twist. Okay, so grab your weights. And I want you to rotate from hip or armrest up and over. To the arm to the other armrest okay or the other hip all right up and over all right here we go all right two times through first exercise we're going to do those fast feet fast hands fast feet fast hands and i'm sweating three two and go Good. Move those hands. Spread those fingers. Feel that tension build up. Good. Halfway. 
Don't lose speed. Keep those hands moving. And stop. Woo. Okay. Second exercise. We've got the row. The row. All right. Three, two, and go. So either you can use a weight if you'd like. Big pull. Five seconds. And whew, rest. Okay, next is going to be the pulse, the pulse. So I'm grabbing my weights. Maybe you're doing the squat. Okay, three, two, and pulse. So just kind of right in here, right in the middle of the rep range. Good, if you want to make it burn more, go a little faster. Feel that kind of in the triceps and the shoulders as you brace. 10 seconds. Good. And stop. Woo. All right. Little, little burn on that one. Little burn on that one. Last and final one here. Is going to be the reverse crunch or the rotation. Okay, where we're going up and over. All right. Three, two, and go. Good. All right, 10 seconds. Finish strong. And rest. Good. Grab a drink. All right. Um, Brooke, if you wouldn't mind muting Jeremiah. Sorry, Jeremiah. <laughs> Nice. All right. There we go. Good. Okay. All right. Sorry. We were getting some feedback. Okay. Thumbs up if we're doing okay. Yeah, sideways thumbs. Good. Good. <laughs> Helena's like, I don't know why I keep showing up for this. This is torture. Good. Okay. I'm just looking around the room a little bit. Nice. All right, we've got another round. We've got another round. All right, so back to the fast hands, the fast feet. Okay, if you were doing hands, now you're going out and in, out and in. All right, I'm standing up here. Okay, with the feet. Three, two, and go. Good. All right, if you're doing the hands and the feet, pick it up a little bit. Rest. All right, now moving to the row. The row. Okay, so I'm angling on my camera a little bit so you guys can see me. All right, I'm grabbing my dumbbells here. Okay, back nice and flat. Three, two, start rowing. Good. All 
All right, 10 seconds. Three, two, done. Whew. All right, squat, squat pulse or the shoulder pulse, okay? All right, ready, and go. Good. Nice. Paul's got a good. Nice. Helena, good. All right. Five seconds. Finish. And rest. Ooh. Last. Final one here, okay, I'm headed to the mat. I've got a reverse crunch. You've got the rotations maybe. And we we'll go. Try not to lose contact with that low back on the ground. Good, we have eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, done. Ooh. All right. Nice job, people. Okay. Grab a drink. All right, so we don't always do a cool down on this workout, but today we're actually going to do a cool down, okay? And we're going to use our lovely little breathing balls, okay? Teresa's got one, all right? She's showing it off. Very mesmerizing, very, very mesmerizing, okay? If at any point you need to grab another drink of water, you can, all right? We're gonna do about five minutes of kind of a cool down of some breathing, all right? And then the last five minutes, we're gonna talk a little bit about in dragon boating and some stuff that's kind of come up over the weekend and kind of where dragon boat is headed in the next couple months, okay? So stay tuned, all right, stay tuned. So if you've never seen one of these, this is a breathing ball, a breathing ball. When it opens up, you take a big deep breath in, like you're filling your lungs. When it closes, you breathe out, okay? So even if you can't hear me or see me visually taking a breath, you can look at the mesmerizing ball, okay? So go ahead. We're going to start kind of fast, okay? Breathing in through the nose, breathing out through the mouth, okay? Here we go. In, out, in. Out. Now we're going to slow it down. Good. Good. We're going to slow it down even more. Good. 
drive even slower. Good, nice. In. Hold. Breathe out. And breathe in. Hold. Breathe out. And breathe in. Good, good, and done, people. So that's kind of a cool, up, cool down you can do, cool off. Um, again, this is just a visual cue. There's nothing. I, I know as much as people would love to say there's something magical about this. It does something for you. This is just, it's just a visual technique, and it's mesmerizing, and you could probably stare at the screen and watch me do this all day long. But um, no.